Welcome to project challenge number one. This is where we get to follow some simple instructions with minimum of words and maximum of pictures on a project challenge sheet and there's going to be three of these in our DaVinci experience part of the Learning Plus module. So we have the sheet of instructions and inside we have the actual digital trainer board which has got all the facilities you need to do simple experiments any way you like. So we have a battery providing power, there's a regulator here just to convert down to 5 volts which is available from VCC and ground down here and we've got a little pulse generator circuit you control the speed of which with a little potentiometer here. We've got a couple of push switches, maybe just one switch on your board where you can just produce pulses manually and we've got some digital switches over here and then at the top here we've got a row of light emitting diodes and there's a buzzer just in case you want some noise and we've got a couple of seven segment displays. Now all this is connected using simple jumper wires and all you have to do is just push the wire into wherever you want on the board and the secret is to push absolutely straight down into the hole. Don't try and go at an angle, it won't go, you'll just bend the wire. And this is particularly true with these little sockets which the wire is meant to go in straight above and down, it can go in no problem. Let's see one of these things working, let's go and turn on the clock. So we just connect up to the clock, push straight down, should stay in nicely, switch on, and we now see that the clock is ticking away and the LED over there is just showing what's happening. Let's see what else we can see on the board. Let's get rid of the clock and let's go to a pulse switch. So when you don't press the switch, there's a logic high. The LED is logic high. When you press the switch, it's logic low. You need that sometimes. You can also use the buzzer. Let's go to the buzzer there. There's your buzzer. Stop! So you press the switch, it stops the buzzer. Let go, and there you are. Have a high again. Very good. Now, what else can we do? We can also use the data switches. Let's connect to our LED again. Any LED will do. Just to go to the top there, connect to a data switch. So I have to go to the second one in maybe. And then, at the moment, it's a logic low because the switch is down. At the top it says on, so when we just push up, you need to have four delicate fingers for that one. <laughs> there you are, the LED turns on. Put back down again, the LED turns off. There you are, so that's the basics there.